Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of Our Lives spoilers for Friday, July 12th, state that Gabby Hernandez de Mera kissed Stefan de Mera's knack and awakened him up with the desire to be passionate, but he claimed he had a headache and dismissed the notion. Gabby was disappointed by Stefan's refusal since she expected him to be all over her after months of celibacy. Gabby stomped out of their bedroom, claiming she had a headache because she knew Stefan was angry about the press appearance. Downstairs at the Di Mera mansion, Ava Vitali complained about Kristen Di Mera summoning her since she'd rather not run across Gabby. Gabby appeared and got updates on Ava's new work because she was recruiting for Di Mera and assisting Kristen with business affairs. Gabby wanted to talk to Ava about her marriage, which made Ava anxious because she was keeping a lid on her relationship with Stefan. Gabby, on the other hand, simply wanted to thank Ava for being there for Stefan during all of the Clyde Weston turmoil, as this meant he didn't have to go through it alone. Stefan questioned what was going on when he got in, but Gabby went out and left him to grill Ava and Kristen. Despite Kristen and Ava's assurances that his secret was safe, Stefan clearly had doubts. Gabby saw Rafe at the pub on Friday's Days episode and learned about Robert Bobby Stein, aka Everett Lynch, claiming to have information concerning Lee Shin's death. Gabby became concerned when she was exonerated based on evidence that Gil Carter committed the crime. Rafe argued Gabby would be free regardless, and he doubted Bobby knew anything. After Rafe swore Gabby to secrecy, he disclosed that Abigail de Mera may still be alive. When Ava arrived later, Gabby mentioned Gabby Chic and pitched the idea of collaborating at de Mera Enterprises. On Friday's Days episode, Jada Hunter threatened Bobby that if he didn't tell her the truth about Lee's fate, he'd never see her again. Bobby hesitated until Jada began to walk out the door, at which point he stopped her and promised to tell her everything. Instead, Bobby faked a headache and assumed Everett had returned. Everett initially appeared dazed, but by the time Marlena Evans arrived, he had gained some clarity. Everett urged that he be released now that Bobby was gone, which Marlena approved because he was no longer eligible for an involuntary stay. Plus, Everett was eager to continue therapy with Marlena on the outside, so she was optimistic about his recovery. Jada worried if Everett knew anything about Lee's case, but Everett played dumb, leaving Jada fearful she'd never learn the truth. Once Bobby returned to the Salem and alone, he discussed honoring his half of the bargain by not disclosing Connie Vinisky's name to the detectives. Bobby was now dependent on Connie to get rid of Rafe as she had promised. Connie cooked breakfast and hallucinated a talk with Lee about her crime of passion. More DOL flashbacks revealed how Connie stalked Lee up to that night when she stabbed him in the back for threatening to call the cops. Connie also emailed Gabby that night to set her up, but Gil's brief appearance nearly wrecked her plans. Connie wasn't concerned about Bobby, but she felt she needed to do something about Rafe. On Friday's Days episode, Rafe called Paulina Price to discuss the necessity to fill Abigail's grave back in. When Connie appeared with the knife, she pounced at Rafe from behind, causing him to cry out in pain. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Connie will continue to demonstrate her mental illness, so stay tuned for more information on her next move. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Abe Carver and Kate Roberts Brady's new initiative could have a deeper meaning. Kate had always wanted to work in scripted programming, therefore she eventually opted to collaborate with Abe on preserving body and soul. Although this fictional soap opera was just terminated, Kate and Abe intend to give it new life by snatching it up and moving production from Los Angeles to Salem. Kate will meet with Chad DiMera and try to obtain his funding between July 15th and 19th. That should tie Chad into the storyline, so we must examine where Days is headed with all of this. Body and Soul obviously features characters played by Day's regulars such as Charlemagne Delacroix, among many others. Abe has stated that certain Salemites resemble numerous important characters from his favorite soap opera. We also know Mark Green has a secret girlfriend, and Jonah Robinson has been sighted on set with Annalyn McCord, the same woman in the footage that Chad has been thinking about. However, the footage is peculiar because the woman is well-dressed and not physically confined. It's not your standard hostage video, so what else may be going on here? That might be a clip from an audition tape or between takes on a TV or movie shoot. What if Abigail DiMera's lookalike is an actress who spends a lot of time in Los Angeles? 
This might explain why Mark's potential girlfriend has yet to be seen in Salem. Perhaps she frequently travels to Los Angeles and spends time with Mark behind closed doors when she is not working. Of course, if an acting job becomes available in Salem soon, Abigail's lookalike will want to audition in order to be closer to Mark. That may be the whole goal of transferring body and soul to Salem so Abigail's doppelganger can audition and surprise Chad. Perhaps Abe and Kate will look for a new actress to play a popular body and soul character. If the other actress refuses to transfer, Kate and Abe may be concerned about whether a recast will be accepted. It's easy to see Abe and Kate discussing how this character has already shifted between recasts several times. That could be a subtle nod to the viewers about Kate Monsey and Marcy Miller previously swapping roles as Abigail. Nonetheless, Abe, Kate, and new investor Chad might continue to watch audition recordings or hold some in-person tryouts. That's when Abigail's doppelganger may come into play as she attempts to score this body and soul part. Naturally, Days could disclose this mystery woman as the real Abigail in the future, but our predictions imply she'll live a completely different life and identity for the time being. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, this body and soul relaunch could be the beginning of Chad's answers, so stay tuned for more on the surprising news that's on its way. The Days of Our Lives spoilers preview video for the week of July 15th to 19th shows that Jada Hunter will panic when she discovers Ray Fernandez injured in the park. Connie Vinisky stabbed Rafe in the back, so Jada will make a horrible discovery and ensure that her boyfriend is sent to the hospital. It won't be long until a nervous Gabby Hernandez de Mera arrives, so she'll have to wait for information beside Jada. In the preview footage, Kayla Johnson's voice can be heard lamenting that they are losing him, implying that Rafe would be in bad shape while his physicians battle to save him. The good news is Rafe will survive, the bad news is he will probably have no idea who assaulted him from behind. Of course, Rafe could go comatose for a while, allowing Robert Bobby Stein to warm up to Jada, albeit he'll have to keep claiming he's Everett Lynch for the time being. Meanwhile, Tate Black and Holly Jonas appear to enjoy some cabin alone, but other forces continue to undermine their relationship. Sophia Choi has the potential to cause havoc if she shares her knowledge of Holly and Tate's secret summer plan. Next, Marlena Evans will confront E.J. DiMera about his paternity lie but he will justify his actions because he has witnessed Nicole DiMera and Eric Brady's addiction to one another. Then why didn't you let her go? Marlena asks in DOL's weekly teaser video before hitting EJ in the face. We should also talk about some huge days returns, as Paul Narita, Andrew Donovan, and Sonny Kiriakis will all be back for double wedding drama. Day's teasers indicate that Paul will question Brady Black about his lingering affections for Teresa Donovan before Andrew takes his sister down the aisle. Justin Kiriakis will perform Teresa and Alex Kiriakis' ceremony and will take any objections. Maggie Kiriakis will do the same as she officiates Sander Cook and Sarah Horton's wedding ceremony. However, the biggest wedding surprise will be Fiona Cook's arrival, despite Day's promotional efforts to conceal her identity. Xander's mother will attend the ceremony and cause havoc, so stay tuned for more predictions on the chaos. Days of Our Lives According to Spoilers, the week of July 15th to 19th will feature both highs and lows, so stay tuned. According to Days of Our Lives Spoilers, a heated family reunion is quickly approaching. Xander Cook has many issues with his estranged mother, but she will be hoping to make amends when she eventually reconnects with him. Days watchers know Bonnie Kiriakis discovered the invitation addressed to Fiona Cook in the wastebasket. Teresa Donovan hoped the invitation would never be sent, but Bonnie arrived in the mail. Since Sander and Sarah Horton have agreed to a double wedding with Teresa and Alex Kiriakis, the simultaneous weddings will pave the way for Fiona's spectacular appearance. Serena Scott Thomas will make her first appearance as Fiona Cook on July 19, so it won't be long until she sees Sander again. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.